Zerath versus Jin matchup. Ezreal, Alistar versus Zerath, Jin. Uh, usually the first thing Loilos tell me when they come into the chat, like, how do I play against Zerath or any poke champions? We're gonna find out right now. now I'm angry. I have a plan in my head, but the thing is, I don't know how well this Ezreal is gonna react to my plan. So I have to make it as simple as possible, do you understand? I gotta make it as simple as possible so that this guy doesn't even, like, need to move his camera to find out what I'm doing. So I'm just going to make everything very simple for him. All he has to do is auto attack and hopefully he lands his skills. And I'm going to try to maximize the pings. Use pings so I can communicate with him properly. Why do you do the flash Q versus Q flash in game? No, I do Q flash. It just looks like it's flash Q, but it's Q flash. I just want to play Riven, but everyone picking hyper armor top lanes or 10 dodges. Oh, let me put music. All right, level one, two, three. It's going to be kind of hard for us. We want to let them push the lane to us. Until I'm like level two, at least. And if I find an opportunity, we could look. Okay, good. Decent trade. He has two potions. Ezreal has tier. Oh, see, this guy should not be allowed to do that. That's good. We got his flash already. That's already a big win for us. I don't know why he randomly decided to face check that bush, but... Very interesting. So right now they're gonna hit level 2 first. We're gonna respect it regardless. I know he doesn't have flash. I know he's lower HP than us, but I can't just randomly walk up at level 1. And assume this guy to just... That he's gonna walk up with me and get trades off. Do we just wait? He has exhaust and no flash. So this guy is walking up a bit too much. But he is full HP. If we traded him a bit over there, I could have looked for a flash Q combo. A Q flash combo, I mean. But I wanna look for the Zerath. See, as soon as the wave is about to crash here, I'm gonna go in. Throw the Zerath like that. He's next to the tower. He takes a tower hit and he dies. We could... No, we're not going to chase that guy. It's fine. We play it slow. I want to get level 3 here. Also, at the same time, I'm going to stay in the bush. I'm going to try to hex fast from here to here. Hope that he doesn't see what I just did. And let this minion wave walk up. Wait a second, we might get a free flash here in 7 seconds. This guy is playing a bit disrespectful. So, 2 seconds more and I'm gonna hex flash in. That's fine, we get a nice trade over here. They shouldn't be able to do much, we're okay. Our trade is gonna be better than theirs. I just wanna body block any skill shot that he could get hit by. That Zerath is still level 2. I'm gonna walk into this bush. I don't think this guy saw me. And this guy's using all his skill shots like that. This is not good. He's actually griefing. We can look for trades here. I don't know why Ezreal walked backwards, but it's fine. Yeah, let's just shove this wave in. We don't want to get too cocky over here. I haven't even been paying attention to where the jungler is at the moment. So let's just shove the wave in and reset. Uh, not, not the best crash, but whatever. I'll sell my two pots here because it helps me get my mobis on the first back. Wait for the mobis. Get this. See, right now what's going to happen is that this minion is going to die. This wave is going to bounce back to us slowly. So I have a timer here to look for room. And Oriana is playing very aggressive for no reason. So I might pass by there for a second. She's out of mana. But I could probably set something up. If she stays, I think she worded this. I'm not sure. So I'm going to have to be fast when I go in. So I'm walking up right now. Oh, why is this guy just resetting? Well, that's fine, I guess. This is worded, yeah, for sure. Why did he come back? Hello? Just reset at that point. You didn't want to stay. Never mind. It's fine. It's low elo. Everything's under control, chat. Don't worry about it. 
So I want to make something happen before I go to base. This guy's not level 6 yet, so I want to look for a top lane. Let's go for top real quick. Boom. I think he has no flash, so... Oh, we don't have damage right now because he used his uh, R. At least we get some poke. Why would the R back in? We're fine, we're fine. We win these. I want to go for this guy. Kill him real quick. And then I walk up over here. Slap him once. Nice, double kill. Yeah, I don't know why Malphite ulted in like that way too early. I should just help him push over here, but I don't want to waste time and this guy gets dove or something and then he rage quits. So I'm going to be fast on my reset. Go straight back to bot side. But he seems safe. They don't have that much of a die potential versus an Ezreal and he's getting free solo XP. Okay, we're good. I know that Zerat doesn't have flash yet. My flash is 40 seconds before his. So I might look here. Oh, I'm going in. I'm going to ping him that I'm going in. This guy is pretty low, so I want to just cut him off from behind. Okay, we just double him. I don't know why I'm the one who got exhausted. He should be just dead at this point. I'll let my AD carry get it. Very good. We got his flash as well. I don't know why they exhausted me, but I'll take it. And now I just shove this wave with him real quick. Or wait, actually. We remember there was a word over here, right? So what I want to do is I know this Zerath is going to try to do some poking. I'm going to come straight. Oh, fuck. My real flash is down. Whatever. I'm just going to use my real flash. We're walking in here. Dodge the E. Come in. Q first. And then... Oh, wow. Wait. He had his flash up? Oh, he's running this page. So he has a... Uh, cosmic. I thought he had no cosmic. Whatever. Flash for flash is okay versus the... Poke champion. Oh. It's okay, it's okay. I should be fine. Oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. That's good. Very nice. Okay, that guy's really tilted. I can't stay, I should have just let him die like that, but whatever, it's okay. We have a lot of pressure. I think Pantheon just comes here and double kills. No flash, no flash. Let him know. No flashes. No exhaust either. Never mind. He played it the worst way possible, but it's okay. This guy's low HP. I'm assuming that Malphite used his ulti. So I'm gonna path top lane for a second. Because there's no way this guy's low HP like that without Malphite using ulti. And right now he's like disrespecting so much. So this guy has no ulti for sure. So we walk straight to top side. There's no words on the way. Beautiful. I'm gonna walk from here since I have X. Oh, never mind. There's at least over there. You just go in. Just kill this guy. Good. Shove the wave in. So I get level 6. And technically, right now, we should do a rift. Why is there map cover? Why did nobody tell me map cover is on? Let me take off the map cover. Yeah, right now we have... Yo, this guy is not allowed to do this. So I'm just going to stall. I'm going to pretend that I'm dying. Let this guy chase me. Actually. I'm lagging. Oh my god. Oh, I lagged so much over there. Holy. Yo, hey, hey, hey. Kill this guy. My pink spiked to like a thousand over there, I think. Whatever. One for one is okay. We don't want to overstay. Malphite's coming back. I'm just going to reset here. Go straight to bot side. They have no flashes yet. So we just get some kills over there. Nothing can hold me back. I don't think Shaco wins this to be honest with you. But he does have R. He shouldn't die. Okay, wait a second. Let me see what I can do here. You never want to show yourself on the map. Always go in the fog. Because when they know they don't know where you are, that's your highest chances of making a play happen. So what are these guys doing? They're still just pushing mid lane like that. Oh, Elise is over there. She spotted me, but I'm still going to go mid. Whatever. Let me just get the kill over here real quick. 
At least he's going to bot side. I'm just gonna hover, tell him to back off. I should make it there on time. I have movies. And we could probably turn this kill around when Elise comes in. Let me see. Oh no, that guy ulted. Okay, nice dodge. Beautiful. Oh, my dodges weren't good enough, chat. Pretend that I'm dying. I see the Shaco's coming in. We're fine here. He has no E, so I can just combo here. He has no E. He should be dead. He's stunned. Guys, attack this guy. Hello? Okay, very good. Just shove the wave here, because Ezreal needs a reset at this point. We just want to shove the wave in. Still have my R. I'm not in any danger. Tell him to reset. Just back out. We don't need to stay. I have enough for my uh, core item. I'm just going to reset here. The thing is, if I was doing with the jungler and this elo, I would tell him, like, earlier on when we were topside, for us to let, try and look for a rift play. But uh, solo queue jungler is just going to do whatever you want. So when I see him path towards top side, that's when I'm going to try to force a rift play. Try to make a play happen around the rift, get somebody killed, or use their make them use their ultis. So they can't actually win the fight when we start the rift, and then start it. So right now we could just probably go top, try to force this Malphite ulti, and then afterwards look for a rift. I'm just going to walk up like this. Oh, hello there, my friend. Oh. Okay, this guy's kind of a smurf. At least we got his flash. No need to overchase. Flash is good enough. Just get the shove in. Oh, Elise is here. Everybody's here. But we should win this. I'm gonna wait until Elise uses his E first like that. Stun this guy. Use my R for the healing. And we should kill this guy as well because she has no E. Very good. My Radiant gives him some healing, so whatever. It wasn't even necessary. He's just, he's too strong. They have no damage to kill him anyways. I don't know where Oriana is. Jin is looking kind of dead. I might go and clean this kill up. Hello there, my friend. What are you up to? I'm going to walk melee range, channel my E first, and then combo. And then just slap him like that. If I just WQ'd and then eat over there, he could have just, if he had flash, because I didn't know if he had flash or not, he could have just flashed out and then I was just not going to be able to get the kill. So I walked close to him since I was already in range, channel my E first, and then afterwards WQ, proc my phase rush and managed to land the E auto attack. Now we reset. I have AP, AP. Now we're just going to go Zhonya's. We're going to play more selfish in this elo. I'm not going to go Abyssal Mask. How do you know what item to build? There's not many things that are viable on Alsa right now. I would say Radiant or Locket are like your best bets. Everfrost maybe, but that's more like uh, complex. It's more of a high elo thing. So you could just start with that and then you could see based on what the, the, the comps are looking like. You can go like Abyssal Mask or Knight's Vow or Zhonya Second is my personal preference. Now let's just get some stacks here. I don't know why this guy is trying to steal my stacks from me, but it's fine. I shouldn't be here for this long. I just wanted the first two stacks and I'm going to follow up to him. I just want to get vision around. Because this guy's pushing hard on top side. So I want to put some vision over here for him so he doesn't get killed. And the wolves are up. So at least he's going to be here soon, probably. I should have just put a ward over here instead of putting two wards like that, but it's fine. Doesn't really matter at this point, it's low elo. As long as he's doing the job. Like there's all three entries are uh, worded, so he's not gonna get killed or anything. I could stay here, we could keep going. I see Oriana at mid lane. Like I, I might flip for a play here at this point. Okay, he used his ulti. Let my uh, Udir disengage first, and then afterwards I go in. He has no flash, we saw him earlier. I'll just use this and stay in range. Hopefully my team walks up. Okay, good. I should have used pings over there to make him realize that I'm going in. He didn't realize right away. But it doesn't really matter. Oh, this guy's dead. 
Actually, I can just W the Oriana away. I was trying to proc my phase rush to try and escape, but I think I'm fine. They play that bad. I don't know why they're trying to make a play on bot side without me being there. Okay, we're chasing this guy down, I guess. Let's fucking get it, baby. What the hell is Udir? Shaco's playing with Flash, I just realized it's a Flash Shaco. <laughs> this guy has no R, so he can't do anything to us. Oriana no R either. And my top is pretty tanky, but he doesn't have that much MR, so we're just gonna reset here. Don't wanna risk it. Okay, now we reset. We really wanna break this mid tower so we have more uh, control over the game. Mid tower is the most tier one mid is the most important tower to break down. You just have so much agency over the map afterwards when you push the waves in. Tell my team we want to break this. And so now I know what my play is. I want to go for this mid tower. So I want to get in position to try and make something happen over here. So we could convert that to the mid tower. So I see Zara at bot lane, Malphite top. So there's only three potential members that could be at mid. I'm gonna go word this. Uh, my team is not listening to me, but it's fine. Whatever. We're just gonna, just gonna improvise. Oh. We're gonna go bot lane instead. Since uh, Shaco's doing his own thing, everybody's doing their own missions. So we come here. This guy's by himself. Get the wave. Wait for him to get the wave. Actually, we don't even need to. I'm just gonna walk up because the wave is too thin. Just use this like that. Okay, thank god. This guy started auto-attacking the tower. I'm in the middle of the dive. See, I, I'm going for plays that are like so safe that he even messed up. But it was still fine because we had so much of a window that it's really hard for it to go wrong. You understand? That's how you want to play in low elo. We're playing in gold right now. I'm trying to teach you guys how to play in gold because a lot of people ask how to play in gold. You can't play the way you do in gold. I'm just gonna flash after him. Attack him, brother. That's fine. It's okay. Oh, nice try. I like the aggressivity. Uh, so this guy's dead right now. That was a bit too much of a risky play, but it's fine. We got the flash on the gin. We don't really lose anything off this, and we're getting pressure everywhere on the lane. On the map so it's okay bad play but whatever doesn't mean much this guy has, this is a bad play i don't want to go for this but let's try it out i'm just gonna press stopwatch here terrible play i shouldn't have gone for that but whatever we're playing for fun at this point <laughs> this guy is still doing his own thing but it's fine whatever This guy doesn't even know how to control his uh, clone. See, that's a big throw. Okay, Shaco doesn't die. It's fine. We're okay. We really need to break... Oh, guys, we need to break mid-tower. So now, I should have a pink word because the objective is like Baron spawning soon. We want to contest the Baron. Whatever. I'll get my Zhonya's and the pink word and then reset. We'll play for the dragon first. Then I'll reset, get Zhonya's pink... And then we play for Baron. I still haven't finished my side stone. 19 minutes in, but whatever. I was just trying to run around the map, trying to win other lanes as well. So we just didn't have time to finish it. But now it's fine. Let's get the tower. Oh, shit. I don't have my R. I'm okay. I'm walking into the skill shots. Respectable. It's fine. They can't do much. They don't have damage to kill me here. I have my R. Let's just go for Dragon. This Dragon's pretty OP on Alstar and our entire team. CDR and attack speed. Oh, very nice play. Okay, we got the flash. That's fine. I'm going to put a word here so we can see where Jin is coming from. I'm just going to... Uh, we can't do much here. Oh, that's fine. We can get him. Stun this guy. Shaco's finally in the fight. We like that. Uh, can we actually kill here? Let me get the combo in. 
Oh my god, I messed up my uh, my word. It's whatever, it's okay. Shut down. What the hell is that guy doing? Yeah, at least we secured the dragon. A bit of fiesta going on right now. We just have to take control of the game. As, as I said, if we break this mid tower, the game is just going to be finished afterwards. Let's tell Udir. Hey, Udir. Can you come mid a sec? Oh, never mind. Let's break this mid tower into Baron. So I'm going to get this. I'll take an HP crystal here. This is the problem with low elo. Once one thing goes wrong, there's like a domino effect of ints that happen left and right. Just keep yourself composed. Try to make some shot calls here and there in a nice way to your team. So that they don't think they're being uh, told what to do. And they don't do the uh, complete opposite. And you'll be fine. So now we got that mid tower. What we want to do is push the wave in. And then afterwards look for... Oh, low there. And then afterwards look for rotation to Baron. I want to have control on top side because Baron's the objective that we want to play for right now. We want to get a pick ideally. And then afterwards start the Baron. Like the biggest threat on their team would be like Malphite and Oriana. We don't want to do the Baron when Malphite and Oriana are around. So this guy... Oh, it's fine. I could have... I wanted to look for that. If he didn't ward, I could have hex flashed in and we could have looked for something there. They're right now I'm in a bad spot over here. I'm not going to combo the Malphite. There's no point using my combo for that guy. It's a waste. If I combo Malphite, then the rest are free to engage however they want. We don't want that. Give me the blue buff. Okay, we see two bot lane. At least in the general bot. Just start this. Come on, go start. So, this is the right call right now. We're just gonna hope that he can land his thing. Just stay on it. Just do it. Elise is almost here. We don't want to turn yet. I'm just gonna look for zoning. I don't want these guys to come in. So I'm playing for zone. Beautiful. We got him. And now these guys are, should be all dead. They were too bot lane. They're not allowed to do that. Now I'm just gonna walk up here. Just flash in. Oh, God. Okay, whatever. You should be dead still. It's fine. Oh, hello, my friend. And this guy dies too. See, there was two bot. Baron's up. We are all around the right objective. Baron in that scenario. And they were all bot lane for zero reason. They were two bot lane for zero reason. And we are in control of the game. So we just go Baron over there. I had, My job was just to zone the Elise. Ma Udir did well zoning the Malphite because Malphite ulti with Oriana ulti could have been nasty if these guys don't know how to play against it properly. But it all worked out. Uh, we can look here. We can turn it back, yeah. They're overstepping too much. They're not allowed to walk that much. I still have my Zhonya, so I'm fine. So we could look for a top, but no, I don't think it's going to work out right now. I should just reset. I have almost no mana. There's no point for me to stay on the map. Give me this. I don't even need a pink ward at this point. There's not an actual objective. I'll just take another ruby crystal. Like any objective we can contest without having uh, vision secured. Because we're ahead right now. We're basically closing out the game. And my team's doing a good job. Boy, this guy just gave her an escape. Unfortunate. Never mind. I take it back. Okay, another flash down. Oi. So I can't do anything to this guy. I'm just gonna try to kill him and double him away. Put a word here. See, that was just an overstay. When I backed, that was the time where we should have just backed. And then we regroup top lane. And then we play for top tower and hit. But it's fine. It's low elo. Like, we don't lose anything off that. Yes, they got some kills. But we don't actually lose much off that. So it's fine. Put words around the objective. Now that we are late to the objective because we died. Yes, now pink word would have been useful. But it's still fine. If they try to contest it, I'll just zone them out and go in and just kill them. But he max W instead of Qs for more ma for maximum damage output on a single target. 
So this guy's trolling, so we just go in and kill him real quick. She flies that way instead of flashing over the wall, but low elo, as I said. There's these little mistakes that you're gonna take advantage of like that and just prolong your lead more and more in low elo. You just have to be smarter than them. That guy is having a battle up top lane. I think he 2v1s at this point, he's way too strong. There's only these two over there. He could have even turned on the other guy. I'll clean his vision. And we shove mid and then we go straight to top and hib and just we can end the game probably here. My team uh, comes here. So right now, I just want to ping them to focus this, and I'm gonna go in and try to put pressure on on them. So we just ending. I can tank forever; it doesn't really matter. And this guy came back in, but it's fine. We're still okay. I have Zonia still. We do too much damage. Just close out the game. I'm just gonna step backwards. Let my team do the finishing touches. And guys, that is how you carry in gold with my playstyle. It doesn't matter. As you said, you guys tell me all the time, they do not react to the plays when I'm roaming, blah, 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 this and that. You just have to make it as simple as possible for them. So that they don't actually have to do much to follow up the play. I hope that helped, guys. We'll upload it on YouTube for the new people that want to watch it as well. And you see, you even get the honors like that. They recognize the support carry over there. 12,000 damage. Three honors. More than my Shaco. Even though Shaco had 13 kills. Almost as much as my mid laner. Clean game overall, chat. Clean.